What's up everyone, Jen Gramling here with eXp Realty and I'm here today with Alan Worthy from Worthy Homes and um, he has a great listing here in the Edge Hill neighborhood so we decided to come out here today and take a look at Edge Hill and kind of share with you all the great things there is to know about Edge Hill. So we're going to share with you our top five things that we love about Edge Hill and take you on a little tour of the neighborhood. So let's get into it. Okay, we're going to give you our top five reasons for living here. So starting with number one is that it's so close to Music Row. There are so many cool recording studios here, um, world famous recording studio B, um, RCA, Universal, they're all here. Um, you never know who you might run into. iHeartRadio is in here, you might run into Bobby Bones. Bobby Bones, huh? Bobby Bones. <laughs> um, Chris Stapleton, all the, there's music history being made here every single day right up the street. And it's not just country music. All kinds of music is recorded here. There's blues, there's Christian, there's... And you know what? Nashville is actually the birthplace of jazz for Tennessee. I didn't know that. Little known fact there. That's awesome. All right, heading into number two. You know me, I'm always talking about food. That's re restaurants here. So, number one place for me over here is Taco Mamacita. Taco Mamacita is a Mexican restaurant infused by Nashville, of course. And if you want some great margaritas, that is the place to go. A great outside venue, great bar area, as well as just a great outside place to sit and watch people. I do a lot of people watching here. But also, if you love pizza, you got Bella Napoli here. Right behind us, actually. So we might just stop in there for a quick bite after we do this video. And then, of course, with the COVID happening, it really stopped a lot of the, the Nashville businesses. And one of the places I absolutely loved was a wine bar called Barcelona. It's right next to Taco Mamacita. And you can go in there. I used to go in there with my brother all the time. And we just go in there and just have a couple of drinks, rest at the, uh, at, at the bar. And I tell you, they have some great food there as well. So if you want some great restaurants here in Edge Hill, look no further. Just walk down the street. And don't forget about the cookie dough place. There's a cookie dough place right here. It serves fresh cookie dough. So good. Number three is that you're really close to everything. So you're just a few blocks away from Belmont, which is right up the street. You're also right up the street from Vanderbilt University. Um, and as you know, anytime you're around college towns, there's tons of things to do, tons of things to see, places to hang out. Um, you're just a couple of miles from all of the sporting arenas. So you're just up from Bridgestone. You're only a couple of miles from Nissan Stadium. If you want to go see the Titans play or the Predators play, you're just right there. Um, also, if you're the person who likes to go to Broadway, it's just right up here also. Um, but there's plenty to do right here, but you're also really close to anything and everything that you could want to do in Nashville. Next on our list is the outdoor activities, and I'm referring to Rose Park. Right here in Edge Hill, you have everything. It's a huge 24-acre facility. It has everything from flag football to soccer to baseball and softball, and even some crazy other adult leagues such as cornhole. Who would ever guess? But right here in Nashville, we love our outdoor activities, and Rose Park is where you want to be if you're going to be in Nashville. And also there's Reservoir Park, which is more of a green space and an open space with walking paths, a great place to take your dogs, to just go hang out for the day and get some outdoor time. Okay, and last but not least, number five is all of the local shops. Um, right down in here in this little Main Street area, you have tons of cute little local shops with clothing stores, um, glasses, coffee shops, really anything and everything that you can want, you can find here. A lot of little local stores. Um, you're not gonna find a lot of chains here. Absolutely, and you know, you always want to shop local, especially this time of year. We're coming up on the holidays. One of the things a lot of people promote is shopping local, and the walkability of Edge Hill makes you makes it so easy for you to shop local. You can just go from one store to the next, and you're helping out our local economy. Okay, so we're just going to take you on a quick walking tour of kind of this main area of Edge Hill where all of the main shops are and give you an idea of what it's like to live here. Okay, so now we're going to take you just on a little walking tour of this downtown spot. Um, as you can see, really cute little shops down here like Billy Reed, Double RL and Company, Haven, lots of little clothing shops. It's just a really quaint little area down here where lots of people hang out, especially when COVID's not going on. It's just packed down here. Lots of patios that you can sit on to eat and have a glass of wine. There's no baked cookie dough, which kind of speaks for itself. It's amazing. And then Taco Mamacita, which everybody really loves down here. Great big patio, big outdoor space to eat and just hang out and have some margaritas. 
And you'll find a lot of wall murals and things down here. Bella Napoli Pizzeria, amazing pizza. And just this little back patios. I mean, just all these little quaint spots that you're gonna find all over town. You can't really find these, these places anywhere else. And now we're gonna talk a little bit about housing prices and just what you can get for your money down here. So types of homes you'll find here in the Edge Hill area, you're gonna look at anywhere from 1,200 square foot older homes such as 1920s, 1930s homes, and those are gonna be in the range of 400 to $500,000, and most of that value is based on the land. You're not gonna find a, an updated property in that value uh, at that price range. You're also gonna find more updated homes, uh, new construction, uh, what we call HPRs here, which stands for Horizontal Property Regimes, and that's going to be anywhere from the five hundred to eight hundred thousand dollar range, and that's going to get you anywhere from two thousand to three thousand square feet. You can also go above that as well and go on up to thirty-five hundred, even four thousand square feet, and that's going to take you anywhere from eight hundred on up to one point three or one point four million. All right, well, thanks for joining us on this tour of Edge Hill. I think you can see it's a really cool, fun place to live. Um, if you have any questions at all about moving to the Nashville area, feel free to reach out to me. I love talking about moving and relocating. So you can reach me. My contact information is in the comments and it's also here. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to see any and all of our new videos that we're putting out on moving to the Nashville area.